Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophynut and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the That Much Difficulty. We are currently on the island of Faro, and uh, you might remember a quest that we did before that we couldn't complete because we needed access to Skellige, namely following the tread where we uh, helped out Lambert find revenge for another uh, Witcher, a Witcher from the Cat School. Um, so now that we have access to Skellige, we should be able to find Hammond, another member of that bandit uh, group that, well, did some terrible things. So, see you at the marker in a second. So, let's find him. Revenge for Aiden. Okay, Geralt just walked through the horse. True Roach. What do you want? Hmm. I'm looking for Hammond. Yeah, indeed. What for? Business. He prayers at the chapel on the hill this time of day. If it's slaves you're looking to buy, he'll have to wait till he's done. Um, didn't know him to be a god-fearing man. He's praying. Wouldn't have thought him a god-fearing man from what I've heard about him. Hmm. Yet it's not something that would surprise any man who knows him. Another snoop. You know the drill. Uh, what? 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 Okay then. Time to end this. And there they go. Okay, but there are a lot more where that guy came from. Uh, apparently, if I look at the map, uh, well, these guys won't miss any of this stuff, do they now? So let's loot a bit. Orders from Hammond. Let's read that. Next time I gotta make sure to visit the shrine on the hill and make an offering before setting out. The gods is favor, that's what matters most, so if any customers come, tell them to wait till I get back. They'll understand, they know I'm liable to get ornery when someone interrupts my prayers. Keep your eyes peeled. So that's what uh, gave me away there. Shouldn't have pried about him being a gold-fearing man. Well, that's what I get for having a bit m big mouth, I suppose. Just looting around a bit. I think I saw a big chest over here as well, so... Uh, this is mine! And it only has a candle. There he goes. We'll fix it so you don't do crap. Come on, give me a best shot. There we go. I always wanted to do that. So, a lot of people in here. Might even just, yeah, I'm probably gonna have to work my way through these guys. Okay, bye. And goodbye. Okay, so let's head up to that shrine where he apparently is praying. Snow hair. Hmm. So uh, see you guys at the shrine in a second. So we arrived at the shrine. Which doesn't look like much. So I'm wondering if... Uh, Lambert already made it, but apparently not. Gods of the sea, I've never begrudged you no gifts. Grant me another victory, so I can make you another offer in the me loot. Don't mind me. Fuck, what now? That guy looks big. Um... Heard you were in Keratin's band. Fucking say what you want. Come on, spit it out, you arse-licking bastard. Okay, he's very friendly. Where the fuck is the guy? And just who the hell are you? A friend of a friend. 
I'm looking for Keratin. Thought maybe we could make some sort of deal. What? Our business robbing some Novigrad pricks the wrong way? Plowing guilds. Come on, what are you waiting for? Kill the fucker! Well, you can try. Ooh, we're gonna need to uh, work our way around this place a bit. Let's take out the guys without a shield first. So, oh, okay. How long you gonna make me wait? There goes his head. Now the guy with the shield, it shouldn't be a problem. Just need to, uh... Igni the fuck out of him while parrying. There he goes. There we go, and now we're gonna have to search Hammond's body. As well, he won't say anything. Too bad I had no Axie option here. Ooh, a band card. And a letter written on elegant stationery. Hammonds thought I made it clear during our last face-to-face -face talk. I don't want to keep in touch with you, and I especially don't want to do any business with you. I've no doubt that the enterprise you proposed would be profitable. Nevertheless, to speak colloqui colloquially? Count me out. There are plenty of other potential buyers in Novigrad, goldsmiths, jewelers and merchants dealing in luxury goods. For starters, I don't want to get involved. Whatever you decide, I wish you well in it. Treat this letter as our final farewell. Caradin. So meet Lambert at the Nowhere Inn. That will do. So uh, see you guys back at the Nowhere Inn. I think that might even be back in Novigrad. Or in the Valen region at least. So see you guys there in a minute. Hungry. So back in Novigrad, in lovely, dreary Novigrad, sure where we uh, apparently have an inn that we haven't been in yet, the Nowhere Inn. Here we go, and Lambert should be here. Yeah, we can see him already. Hello, friend, playing some Gwent. What the hell took you? Oh, Pretty likely okay. Keratin lives in Novigrad, and he never severed ties with Hammond. They're actually in business together. Hmm. Learned something too. He trades in uh, live goods on the sly. Yeah, slaves. We already knew that. The Pearl of the coast runs between here and Skellige. Changed his name too to Roland Truger, who officially is a respected Novigrad trader and philanthropist. Has a okay, then that's. Interesting. Anything on Salis? Hmm. Well, didn't have you there to stand up for her. <laughs> okay, so he killed her. Um, let's go see Karenin. All right, let's pay Karenin a visit. Well, his place is pretty well guarded. Textures. If your plan doesn't include dealing with an escort of guardsmen, best revise it. Calm now. Let them start it. You're expected. Come in. Uh, what? How could he expect us? Everybody died. Um, that's a kid. Oh, is that Caradon? Make yourselves at home. Okay, he has a wife and He's kids. A Very true. Allow me to introduce my wife, Letitia. And my two little tots. Wait a second, witchers are infertile. You know who I am, and I've heard of you. You've been asking many questions about me. That always draws my attention. What school do you come out of? That of the cat. So few of us left. So you killed your own? Yeah, witchers are sterile. Witchers can't have children. But they can have wards, or take in a woman along with her children, embrace them as their own. That's true. That's what Geralt did with Ciri, so... 
I could understand a witcher becoming a hired assassin, but a merchant? Why ever not? Not one among us doesn't dream of changing our life. I simply did not stop at dreaming. They say no witcher has ever died in his bed. I aim to be the first. Interesting. Remains to be seen. Um... Well, Lambert's a bit pissed at you because you killed one of his friends. My friend needs to talk to you. Lads, take the children and Letitia and leave us. Our guests wish to speak to me. I wonder what I'm the big ears. twist talk will be. Me, Geralt. If I do, first word he says to me, I'll lose it and throttle the fucker. I'm wondering if he's also from the cat school. Huh. Your wife know who you were? We are thoroughly honest with one another, harbor no secrets. She prays for me each day. You know what? I think it's working. Fucking hell. Relax, Lambert. I confessed all just before we pledged to marry one another. Began a new life that day, with a clean slate. Well, not really clean, though. Remember Aiden? A witcher. Murdered in Elander. Guessing the killers were paid well. I remember him as I remember all the others, with the deepest regret. Yet Aiden was different in a way. Contrary to rumor, we did not set out to kill him. We were forced to when he attacked us. Um... Okay, then let's hear yours part of the story. What's your version of this story? Before uh, Lambert kills you. ...to lift the curse from the Duke's daughter. He took the coin, bungled the job, then left. Once the girl passed on. You lie. We were not to kill him, we were debt collectors. He'd spent the coin already, so we demanded his swords. When he refused, tempers flared. Vienne, positioned as a sniper, lost her nerve. Hit Aiden square in the eye. Later, she devised her own version of the story. To silence her guilt, I expect. Hmm, okay then. Sounds plausible, but... I've heard enough. What now? Now I'm going to have to make a decision. Your remorse, it's fake. You've changed too late to repent or we'll leave you alone. Huh. Is it fake? No, what, Keridan? Your remorse, it's feigned. Completely dishonest. You put on a good show, but I just don't believe you. Don't even know why we bothered with this chat. We came here to kill you. But, let's spare him, because of the wife and children, not because of him. He's trying to make his life better, so uh, let's hope for the best, shall we? Leave him. Let's go. You off your fucking nut? Lambert, this is one of those situations when you have to realize you're pissed as hell. Rein it in, and trust your cool-headed friend. Let's go. For fuck's sake, Geralt. Don't know that I'll be able to forgive you. I said let's go. You can always come back. Thank you. Hmm. Don't thank me yet. Because Lambert Explain is a bit yourself. pissed at me. Don't intend to. Just felt Keridan didn't deserve to be murdered in cold blood. If you feel otherwise, you can always go back. Without me. I feel like beating the shit out of you. Oh, yeah. See you well. Later. Someday. Let's try so that then. Lambert. Goodbye, Lambert. Sorry, we uh, couldn't really help you. Um, I see we kind of have a little bit more time left, so I'm wondering if we have time to do the next quest. A deadly plot, so uh, Dijkstra, if you remember the fatty, uh, told us that he's planning to kill Radovid. And uh, we need to meet him at the Passive Flora, where we are really close to. It's actually a whorehouse, by the way, but... Uh, I think it's this thing, yeah. With the nice red lamps. 
So let's head inside and meet up with Dijkstra. Or White Wolf. Right, we needed Welcome to, to meet with her first. Oh, no sign of recognition in your eyes. Greetings. Uh... Don't fret. I'm sure I look quite different from when we last saw each other. Uh, which was? Oh, eons ago. You and Master Dandelion appeared, two halflings in tow. What a smash they were, the little chaps. We recount that night to this day. Yeah, it's also sorry, from in the books. Here to when they met Dudu. I know very well why you're here. They await. This way, please. Okay, then. Oh, I'm this sorry. Upstairs. Upstairs, too. Mysterious secret entrance. And there's a bandit. That's also... That's always a very nice thing to see. Up you go. Boss has been waiting. Okay then. Thank you, good sir. And there he is. And let's see what this conspiracy is all about. Geralt, you're here. Good. Might have chosen a more secluded spot to plot an assassination. It's on everyone's mind. Many would like to do it, so there's nothing to fear. Yeah, because killing a king is always so got a tradition in this simple. Domain. Might even consider it fabled. Falka planned her revolt here. By extension, King Vrydank's murder too. Comparing yourself to Falka? Far as I can recall, no one in Redania's annals has a bloodier reputation. Yeah, a very her murderous elven leader. The course of history. That's what we have in common. Siri actually took her name for a while. To shed Radovitz. I'm pleased you're willing to play a part. Must admit, I wasn't certain you'd show. Hmm. <laughs> Radovitz got to die. For Triss and Yen's good. Thought about what you said. That Triss and Yen would never be safe as long as Radovid was alive. You better believe it. Well, I'm pleased we've arrived at an understanding. To the matter at hand, I believe you know my associate. Roach, you here? Hello, Vernon. Retired intelligence operatives. We have a club. Defended a king once. Ready to assassinate another now? Not proud of it, yet. I considered all the options and found none better. Radovid's proven many times he only ever forwards his own interests. When Kedwin asked for help, he invaded. When I begged him to support Vizima's defense, he showed me the door. So it's kind of personal, the isn't it? Nears its end. We've come to a decisive phase. We must act quickly. But no illusions. Only a dead Radovid means a free Temeria. Except if the Nilf Guardians take over again. How's that work? Seems to me Radovid is Temeria's ally. Only as long as my guerrillas do what pleases him. Support his troops. Once he wins the war, he won't acknowledge the previous borders, nor wish to restore them. He dreams of a northern empire. As long as he lives, Temeria will never be free. Okay then. didn't bring you here to bore you with politics. Radovid's a threat to Triss and Yennefer. Remember that. That ought to interest you most. So, and what do you want from me? All right. What do you want from me? One of our co-conspirators ventured out to meet an informer. He's not returned. Yet the plan's success hinges on what he's learned. We've got to find him. And you're the best tracker around. Tracker, huh? Really? Anything else you can tell me? Where this associate was last seen, for instance? He's traveling as a journeyman, itinerant cobbler, that's his cover. He was first to venture across the Pontar, most probably did so via the Redanian checkpoint, with a man there who should know more, calls himself Gregor. Okay then, let's Fine. go find the man. I'll talk to Gregor. Thank you. And try not to draw too much attention. If you can, remember. The future hinges on the success of this mission. Geralt drawing attention? The future of the North. Never. I know. I'll try not to fuck it up. See ya. We're counting on you, Geralt. Jesus, lighten up a bit. Anyone see you coming? 
No one apart from Madame Serenity and your lackey. Off the street, I mean. No one. No, it's even better well. than you. I'm not What nervous. about the trade Just we do with the Empire? Trade our shares in the Maritime Company. I know, and I am. <laughs> what about the streets? Well, <gasps> okay then, hi ladies. So let's get back outside and talk to the Redanian liaison. So, uh, see you guys right over there in a minute. No discount. So, from the border post at the center of the map, we uh, head north, and the Redanian liaison should be right at this bridge. Uh, over there on the left is probably him, Gregor. Looking for Gregor. You found him. Who are you? Geralt of Rivia. Deekstra sent me. Oh, where is his helmet? Let's take a walk. His helmet is gone. Nice job decorating your guard post. Ooh, gruesome. By orders of our gracious and merciful ruler. And his helmet is back again. What was their crime? One on the right, a peller from a village nearby. Gave some bloke the wrong advice. Bloke's mates informed on him. Great. The neighbor held a grudge against the one on the left. Accused him of witchcraft. Just humans at each other's throats. That's not Radovid's fault. Hmm. Who do you think set down the laws that mean folk hang for such offenses? Yeah. Okay then, down to Let's business. Talk. I get that you hate Let's your king. I'm here. Yeah, he came through here on his way out. Didn't come back, though. Patrol went out yesterday, reported an abandoned car to ways off the road. Aimed to go out there, see if it's his. Couldn't get away. Thanks. Good enough to start with. Farewell. Hold on. You got a pass? Won't get back through without one. Um... Yeah, I got I, one. I have one, yeah. All right. Good luck. Thanks. See ya. Would you not have one at this point in the story? I know you can start this this quest a lot earlier than when I'm doing it, but it's kind of weird that he would ask that right now. But hey, let's uh, head to that wagon, and I'll see you there in a second. So I think we freed a merchant from this place. Yeah, over there, the cage on the right. I freed a merchant here once, but um, there should be an abandoned cart over here somewhere. This looks like it. Hmm. Looks like a cobbler's cart. cart. Doesn't look damaged. Strange. Need to look around. Might find something. So he might have just been uh, abducted then. Oh, for fuck's sake! So let's smack some wolves around. Signs of a scuffle. Somebody got knocked out. Dragged off. Let's kill that wolf. It's a wog. And there it goes. So there is a shoe over here, so that indicates a cobbler. There's another one over there. So let's follow these. He's leaving a trail of shoes. There's another one. Oh, there's a troll over there. Maybe Let's he knows something here. more. Oh, there's a that guy over here. Shoes. There's a lot of shoes. Did you kill the cobbler? Greetings. Away go with you go. You did pick me. Well, go ahead, trolley. Just wondering how those shoes is wound up here. Shoes is you did grow. Like the mushroom. Okay then. Shoes don't sprout from the ground. You see who left them behind here? Mm. Mm. Speak no wrong. He clearly knows, but uh no get Organ Pog. Organ Pog. Organ Pog. Those your friends? Findering of great Ogpog, human finder on big suited cards. 
tooth is big like so. Mm -hmm. What did they do to this human? Old Pogman's cover to take. They're over. Do so you... they took him to the nah, cave? No. Body man's. Stringy man's. Blah. Talky <laughs> make man's shoes it make. Fog. Pog and rog shoes it make. Okay then. <laughs> what use do, do troll have for shoes? need shoes? Shoes it on humans is it? Shoes it once up. Pog and rog. Okay then. Be Can't argue with that. Trollers be. Like humans is. Okay, fair enough. So the trolls want their own shoes. Uh, let's find the cave. Well, it's probably this thing, right? Yeah. Over here, let's go take a look. At Org and Pork, probably. Hello? Yeah, there they are, and... There seems to be a human over there as well. Okay. Taller. <laughs> Taller. Should have known. Who better to teach trolls how to cuss? Geralt, my mod, been bloody years. This whole so we still have to convince the two trolls to leave him alone. I'd make for an awfully veiny morsel. Right through that. Just look at the plowed bastard. Naught but skin and bones. And a lot of muscle. I think. Well, gentle trolls, I time I travelled on. You, uh, practice what I taught you. Give you a fucking exam next time I come through. Don't let no go. Tell her shit. Sit us down. Tell her suck cock shoes he's make. Um, I need this man. I can see you've made friends, but Tyler needs to come with me. Blood nowhere, Tyler go. Tyler shoes is makes. But you I know we can you. outrun you, probably. Tyler's here stay. You shoes is got. Ugg shoes is got not. Rug got not. Pug got not. Yeah, you don't Tala have shoes and you want shoes. Tyler go. Um, need him for a minute, no more, he'll be back. <laughs> now let's try that. Stay calm. Taller will be back. He just needs to come with me. We'll uh, get some leather for your shoes. Uh -uh. Listen to Geralt, he's telling the plowing truth. Yeah, because you need leather to make shoes. <laughs> Confused. They're fucking mammoth. Need a damn bale of leather to make shoes for him. Understand? Me and Geralt will get some cocksucking leather. Then I'll come back and make I'm gonna have to censor this episode. <laughs> shoes is pock for? And rug for? Two pairs for each of you now pricks. Mmm. Dialogue go. But back come must. No, you buggers were good mates. Sit tight. Be back in a bit. Okay, taller. Let's go. Never thought of having two. Children aren't trolls, and vice versa. Besides, butchers are sterile. Oh, come on, taller. You've not changed a bit. Still tart as rotten rhubarb. Just happened to be passing through, or did someone send you to find me? Roach and Dijkstra. Ah, mean they've not forgotten me. That's nice. Though I am grateful you came to get me, Geralt. Must have a lot on your mind. All those monsters to kill. Heard you three are planning to do some killing of your own. Huh? They tell you? Clowns. Kinda. Didn't offer any details, though. Maybe you'd be willing. Gesture of gratitude? Sorry, mate. If they were mum, I've got to be mum. Be that way. How do you even wind up out here? Nilfgaard occupied land now. Are you saying the black ones have no use for cobblers? Probably brought their own. Brought fuck all as I see it. Amateurs in uniform. 
And you'll not find a better cobbler than Tala anywhere in the north. Yeah, right. You doubt me? You're a spy, and you're working with Roach and Dijkstra now. Doubt you went out there to fix Nilfgaardian boots. Ah, oh, I see you've thought about this. I admit it. Cobbler acts my cover. Who no takes an shit, Sherlock. No one. You sit there, doing your work, hammering on that soul, and the blokes beside you talk. Bollocks, mostly. But sometimes they say something interesting. Mike, oh, I can appreciate all that. I'm to say. <laughs> ah, we're back at this cart. Thanks again, Gerald. I'll take it from here. And I'll be sure to tell Roach and Dijkstra how you buggered Og and his mates sideways. As I see it, they'll be so impressed they'll shit themselves. I doubt that, but hey. Um, what do you do now? So what'll you do now? What do you mean? Head back to Novigrad. Dijkstra, Roach and I have got a master plan to set in motion. I'll ask again. Details. Forgive me, mate. I plow in calm. See, were it just up to me, I'd spill it loud and proud. You're trustworthy like no one else I know. But I'm not on my own. So, blooming unilateral decisions are out of the question. Trap stays shut, I'm afraid. Right. Gotcha. Right. So, uh, so goodbye, time. Taylor. See you again. Good luck. Oh, I can Tom. barely use it. Radovich won crafty all with a clap. But we'll figure a way around that twat. Soon the old bloody north will be blathering about how he got fucked. Careful it's not also blathering about three assassins, drawn and quartered. <laughs> Fear not, Errol. We know what we're doing. Farewell. Oh well, Taller. So, uh... That concludes the deadly plot quest. And, uh, this, well, this turned out to be a bit of a longer episode that I hope you don't mind. So I'm going to take a little break, so if you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, uh, give it a thought to subscribe to my channel, because the support really helps in making these episodes come uh, as regular as they do. So thank you guys enormously for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video stream. Goodbye!